Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a tech video again, so we're going to get to a vlog very soon, but another tech video just to highlight the differences between Racial Light and Racial Pro for the Racial Block community. If you're using this app, you may be wondering, what's the difference between Racial Light and Racial Pro? So that's what I made this video. There's very small differences right now, but they will be more pronounced as more features come. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the video. So here we have it, Racial Light versus Racial Pro. Both of them need a code, but they are installed differently. Ratio Pro, it is installed via a block desk app on your computer, so PC or Mac. This one is installed through an APK, which eventually maybe will come into the Play Store. They're still going through certification on all of that. But we're going to compare a couple of the things that work and do not work in Ratio Light versus Ratio Pro. So let's go to the dashboard. Here's where we can see it more evident. When it comes to color, grayscale, you can enable it on the Ratio Pro. You cannot do it on Ratio Light. It says feature not supported. Ratio doesn't have the right permissions to use this feature. The next thing that does not work is custom brightness. We're going to use custom brightness right here. Put it all the way to zero. Close and save changes. You will see Ratio Pro correct, while Ratio Light does not correct. So we're going to go up. And now we're going to also try another feature. We're going to deactivate that one. And we're going to try landscape. So we're going to try landscape. And this should correct Ratio Pro. It does not do anything on Ratio Light. Of course, auto rotation is disabled on both for that to work perfectly. Now, the last thing that I want to show is that the highlights are working in both. So you can highlight in both. So that is something that it is working the same on these two versions of Ratio. And now we're going to go back. And we're going to see another thing that is not working on Racial Light versus Racial Pro. Racial Light, double tap, doesn't work. Racial Pro, it does work. We're going to double tap and authenticate real quick. And now we're back. Now, besides those differences, Racial Light and Racial Pro are pretty much the same right now. I'll be talking about some of the differences that will be coming in future updates. So right now you can move the drawers. You can also rename them and authenticate them in the same way. When it comes to the root, things do still work. So for example, we're going to use a search right there, a search right here, a post office, sure. And right there, you see, it does work. Uh, the converter uh, should be somewhere around here. We're gonna convert currency again. It does work. When it comes to the timer, it also works. You can set it up, pause, reset, reset. And pretty much all the features from the root are working perfectly on both Racial Light and Racial Pro. Now, if you have an unsupported device, that may have extra complications, but again, you have to report them to the community in order for it to work better. Uh, and we're going to see one more. I wanna show focus mode right here, focus mode, that should work. And what focus mode pretty much does is that it blocks everything that is not highlighted. So everything else, as you see, it doesn't have the regular contour, but everything that you highlight, and that is in order to make you a little bit more productive. So right there, we're going to put a marker and that is going to highlight it. That's what focus mode is all about. So we're going to put a bright highlight, but it doesn't do it. You have to mark it in order for it to actually be displayed. So that is, if you're trying to be productive, if you're trying to focus on a certain uh, apps, then you definitely want to use focus mode in order to focus better. So we're going to do that. Focus mode right here. We're going to re replace it. And as you see, it comes back to a kind of like a regular color. And then you have sun mode. Sun mode works. Perfect. And you can add new drawers and add different apps and whatnot, you know, so new drawer right there. You can add a new drawer right here. We're going to come out of sun mode. Now, besides that, Racial Light and Racial Pro are pretty much the same. Let's go to Racial Settings to compare. It has the same things, but some things, of course, they do not work. Now we have root right here, root right here. It has the same apps, the same root, and you can still add sources or you can still add notes or clear them or whatever it is, you can still do a lot of stuff when it comes to Racial Light versus Racial Pro. 
But as of right now, the main differences are those highlighted in the previous part of the video. Now, in the future, Racial Pro will have more features than Racial Light because it has more permissions that need to be given from the Block Desk program. So in the future, whenever we have the messaging hub that will be on this panel right here on the right, instead of swiping right for the root, you will swipe left and you get to the right panel where you will have integrated messaging. Racial Light will not be able to have that. That's just because of how the permissions work. So those are the main differences between Racial Light and Racial Pro. They're not big at the moment. They will be bigger and more pronounced as more updates come just because there's more permissions and different things that you will need to grant and Racial Light does not allow you to do that because it's installed through an APK. This may eventually come to the Play Store and we hope that that happens. But in the meantime, you still need to sign up for a code. Make sure to be patient and it's going to be okay. You're going to get it and then you're going to enjoy it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to share it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.